Breaking news. Finally, the cat is out of the bag. Buhari's aide confidently tells Nigerians that Osibanjo, Yemi Osibanjo, will run for the presidency. You know, there have been rumors here and there that, um, you know, with Tinubu, that's not a rumor. Tinubu um, nominated Osibanjo to run with President Muhammad Buhari. Today is the vice president. Don't forget that Tinubu was, um, Osibanjo was Tinubu's attorney general. The eight years he was the governor of Lagos State from 1999 to 2007. And so when, the, when he could not run with President Muhammad Buhari, he was the person who nominated Yemi Osibanjo. Yes? So that issue has been up that um, he will not want to, you know, um, go against his benefactor, somebody who has supported and assisted him is where he is today because of his recommendation. Although none of them has publicly, yeah, come out to tell anybody that they want to run for the presidency. However, we know that Tinubu has told an elder statesman, a northern elder state uh, leader, that um, he needs his support come 2023. Osibanjo, on the other hand, has not officially, but now we are hearing from Buhari's aide. Ojodu, he clears the air, tells Nigerians officially that Osibanjo will run. Okay, let's get all the details. President Muhammad Buhari's special advisor on political matters, Baba Femi Ojodu, has denied saying that the vice president will run for 2023 presidency. President Muhammad Buhari's special advisor on political matters, Baba Femi Ojodu, has said that the vice president, Yemi Sibanjo, will run for the presidency in 2023. But as the matter gets heat up, and powers that be began to call his attention, asking if Yemi has told him to himself. He later retrieved the statement with reports saying that he hinted, he only hinted that Osibanjo may want to contest for the 2023 presidency, but not certainly has given an assurance or a green light to anybody. That the statement he made was an hint to the fact that Yemi Osibanjo may potentially want to run for the presidency. However, Jodu says such pronouncement is not his call to make. That's why it was only a hint that the vice president himself will be at the best position to tell Nigerians when the time is right. In a statement, he said he affirmed that the vice president was qualified. I still stand on my ground that the vice president is qualified to run for the presidency of this country. He has worked with President closely with President Muhammad Buhari and have all that it takes to run for such a position. According to Jodu, I know what I quoted. It was a hint and how he's been trending. The effort of the vice president supporting President Muhammad Buhari since 2015 is evident for all to see. First, let me reiterate it again that the vice president is for now fully focused on working in his capacity as the vice president with the current administration to address compelling issues in the country and, considers, and considerations for Nigerians, including finding effective lasting solution to security challenges, working to further boost the economy. He has not made any declaration in respect to 2023 as at the moment. What I said was a hint. What happened was when I was in Port Harcourt, where I had a private meeting with some friends and interest group. Why at the meeting discussing politics, economy, and a number of other subjects of public interest and well-being of our country? Someone asked if the vice president will run for the presidency come 2023. And I answered, to my Best of ability, the man is one of the most qualified candidates. And if he runs for the position, it will be a blessing for the country. So, uh, you know, because there are powers that be, uh -huh, and one has to be careful when dealing with powers that be, because uh, the powers that be will come there and ask you who told you. Uh, so they are being careful, being very, very, you know, careful in answering such questions with regards to uh, who told you, how did you know he will run, as he told you. Is that what you guys are planning? You know, you know, because there are other people, like I said, people who have suggested Yemi Osibanjo to run for the position. And, uh, you know, today is the vice president. The kingmaker now wants to be the king. And there are indications that um, 
you know, people do not want to double cross him or to take over the, you know, take the shine from him because, you know, he has run. He, I mean, they've had their turn to a large extent. So, uh, Ojodu said he was in them. It was in, it was with some friends and they were just having a good time. And the issue of politics, the well-being of Nigeria came about. And like you heard, he said they were discussing it and he told them that the vice president is one of the most qualified candidates. And if Nigeria have the vice president, they should honestly, sincerely be happy to have such a man. That such a man is a plus. Such a man would do the nation good. Such a man would make things better. And um, I mean, he has the experience. He has worked as um, uh, uh, he has worked with uh, Sibanjo closely with uh, uh, Sibanjo has worked closely with Tinubu while he was the Attorney General, and then to the Vice President, which gives him more, you know, more more credibility for the position and what he needs to do and how he needs to go about it and how he needs to put, you know, things in order. You know, he's been there, you know, somebody working on the job and, you know, getting things done uh, is different from somebody who has never been there. So it's a different ball game altogether. So he said he only mentioned that the vice president is one of the most qualified candidates and uh, if given opportunity, he feels the vice president will do well. Now, the problem with us in Nigeria that we have, one of our serious problems, problem is no um this person is my brother so he has to be there now your brother is not qualified your brother cannot even manage his own affair his own life his own life he cannot manage it now there is a more qualified person but you know the thing called sentiment that's what's wrong with buhari nepotism and the rest i mean that's one of the things wrong not just the only thing wrong yeah you know this person, but because it's from the north, it's from my state, it's from my religion, it's from my this, then you put him, you impose him on others, and here we are today uh, with people who are unqualified, who do not even have anything to do with leadership calling the shots. So at the end of the day, Nigerians are left out, but battered, you know, with people who, when you tell them or you make a suggestion, they feel intimidated because they don't even have what it takes. Okay, they don't even have a thing, an iota of what it takes for leadership. So they are not even confident in what they can provide, what they can bring to the table. Rather, they are intimidated. You make a suggestion and they go all out at you as though you have, um, you have uh, on, 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 unleashed the dragon. So these are some of the things going on. So please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Do have a lovely day. Bye for now.